What's going on guys? Chase here back with another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about what sold on eBay once again. Um, it's a common video that I do. I show you guys kind of what I've sold recently on eBay, how much it's selling for, whether we done free shipping, whether we um, put the item up for a cost and the buyer paid the additional shipping cost on that item. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And um, yeah, so we're going to jump right into it, you guys. First things first, we sold a textbook. Um, sometimes these can go for great money depending on the textbook, um, the year, you know, is it the latest model or, or whatnot. So yeah, anyway, we sold this textbook, you guys, for I believe it was 24, let me see if I can look, 24.95 and the buyer paid additional shipping. We'll be shipping this out media mail. Now to be a little bit higher than your standard media mail for your um, DVDs, CDs, that kind of thing, because this does weigh, I believe, a little over two pounds, if I remember right, when we weighed this and put it on eBay, additionally, um, initially, anyway. And so, yeah, we'll be shipping that out, media mail. It'll be a little bit higher, again, than your standard, you know, DVD, CD, that kind of thing, but it will still be relatively sh uh, cheap to ship that out. But again, we sold it for $24.95, and they paid the additional um, shipping cost on that textbook. Moving right along, we sold a DVD. Um, I believe we got around 10 bucks for this DVD, and then they paid some shipping on it as well. So this will go out the standard media mail $280, um, because this is very lightweight, you know, just a few ounces or whatever, you guys. So yeah, we'll throw that in a um, padded bubble mailer and ship that out media mail for that standard flat two dollars and eighty cents is what that should go for and so yeah we'll move right along once again and this is an item we've actually had on ebay for a little while surprised that it didn't sell a little bit sooner um, because it is a pet item and people love their pets you guys um, a lot of times pet stuff sells pretty good online um, but we've actually had this setting around for a few months so i was a little bit surprised that it took a while to sell um, but anyway, it is a really heavy duty, really nice kind of leash harness, um, all in one kind of deal. So that is what it is. It's brand new in the box. We sold this for, um, $28 and the buyer paid some shipping cost on that item as well. Um, don't know the exact shipping cost. Um, but yeah, I know it is over a pound this weighs over a pound so it won't be going out first class it can't go media mail you guys um and i believe i don't know this might could go in a bubble um priority mail bubble flat rate mailer for like um normal cost is 275 um my cost on ebay platform will be like a um, 715 I believe so it'll be a little bit of a discount on that we might be able to ship it out that way um, because it's not anything that's really going to be broke or, or get harmed and it's in a pretty well packaged box so we could probably throw it in one of those but we'll have to see um, the next thing that we sold is a kitchen aid um, kind of like a, a blender I guess you could say it's kind of a hand blender um, let me see so yeah, it's a KitchenAid brand, which is a really great brand, you guys, that, you know, maybe you're not not a chef like me, not in the kitchen a whole lot. Um, KitchenAid is like a top name brand in kitchen appliances and stuff like that, small kitchen appliances. So yeah, KitchenAid stuff brings really um, good money. It's, it's usually really high quality. Um, so you pay a little bit just for the name but it is really, really good stuff, you guys. So yeah, we sold this um, KitchenAid hand blender. So yeah, you can do smoothies or whatever, I guess, in that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we sold this um, for a pretty reasonable price, I believe. Um, if you consider the top retail, normal top retail in a traditional retail store. Um, but we sold it for 25, yeah, 25 bucks. The buyer did pay shipping on this item. As you notice, a lot of the stuff that's been selling recently um, is, is stuff that we've actually done. Um, um, we've not offered free shipping on to what I'm trying to say, you guys. A lot of the stuff that recently have, have, has sold has been stuff that we've charged the shipping on. So the way that I usually do it, you guys, is if the item 
is going to be listed for free shipping. We basically just incorporate it in the price, so it might be uh, listed a little bit higher um, depending on what the sold listings are going for and what we know it will bring. Um, but yes, basically, um, if we're going to do the free shipping, we're going to add the value or the cost of the shipping of what we want to make out of that item kind of back into it. Um, but then again, if we are doing the buyer pays the shipping, then we will have a lower um, cost on the item because they're going to be paying for that shipping cost and we're not going to have to pay that out of our initial sale itself or what we're asking for the product, in other words. So we will drop the price to get more of a, around that mark of what it's actually selling for online on eBay at the time that we're, we're listing it. So that's kind of how we do that, you guys. Um, but yeah, that will go... Um, we'll probably be able to ship that out, you guys, for maybe 9 or 10 bucks for this KitchenAid blender. I don't remember how much it weighs, um, but probably 9 or 10 buck range, I think we'll be able to ship that out for, for that. Um, they should have probably paid around that in the shipping. I've not looked exactly, but let's see. Um, yeah, it looks like they paid around 10 bucks in shipping, so... Um, you know, we might be able to get it out for like around nine bucks or something like that. The next thing we've sold is a uh, ink cartridge. Ink cartridges do pretty well, you guys. I don't know if you everybody out there is able to find these and have access to these, but they're around quite a bit when you're in liquidations. Um, if you're buying a lot of, you know, um, uh, big uh, liquidation pallets of maybe smalls or um, office, electronics, um, you know, just a lot of smalls, Amazon smalls, um, ink cartridges are in those a lot. Um, or if you're able to go through um, liquidation bins, kind of thrift stores and find these, you know, you can find these a lot of the times really, really cheap, you guys, you know, and um, they sell pretty good, you know, if you have a little to nothing in them, I can usually minimum get 10 bucks a piece, sometimes 15, 20, 30, um, you know, all the way up there into some of those big cartridges you can get literally hundreds of dollars for. Um, definitely o around 100, over 100. It all depends on, on the, the actual name brand, whether it's a name brand ink cartridge, the size, how much uh, it actually holds, this or that. But yeah, they can go way up there from like, ink cartridges you guys from these small ones can go, you know, on average 10 to $30 or so. Um, maybe you can find a 30 something 40 something dollar one that's a lot of the ones that I sell between that 10 to 30 something dollar range but yes they're out there you guys where those you have those huge um, extra large ink cartridges that go in, in certain kinds of printers that sell for a hundred two hundred three hundred dollars and and they're they're out there and you can find them they're not as commonly found at least I'm not able to find them as often but they do um, sell they are out there and they sell on eBay so uh, ink cartridges in general something to look for I know I've probably said that in previous videos but again this is another example of another ink cartridge that has sold for me and this one right here you guys um, this cartridge is bringing 20 bucks plus the shipping so it ended up looks looks like they paid about 25 bucks um, for that ink cartridge right there in total. So we listed up for 20 bucks. The buyer pays the shipping. Looks like they paid about $4.70 in the shipping for that. Um, we'll probably be able to get a little bit cheaper with the eBay discount um, with the store subscription that we've got. But yeah, you know, we're probably going to be able to get that out for maybe three something. Um, it'll go first class, you guys. It's a small item. So uh, let's see what we've got next on the list. This is an item that, it was in a liquidation um, place. I don't know if I got this kind of at a liquidation uh, thrift store kind of deal because I love going to those, you guys. Um, all of you know that I love to go to the liquidation bins at the Give Me a Five. Um, you know, $5 days can be great. Dollar days is when I usually go just because it's more convenient for me. 
um, to get out because I'm five dollar days is on Saturdays. You guys, I'm usually open at the store. Um, I can get away, but it's harder for me to do so, and I like to be here when we're open. So I don't always get to make it. Um, but yeah, Gimme Fives are not nationwide yet, you guys. Um, I think they probably are working on it. But it's a great um, liquidation thrift store. They basically set up bins, and you get to go through and um, just dig for stuff. And everything in the store is a set price so it starts out at Saturday when they um, bring in a new load of restock at five bucks and then it just goes down continue through the week like Wednesdays when I go everything in there is a dollar and you know sometimes there's only some stuff in there that's only worth a dollar but then you have stuff that's worth five ten fifteen you know uh, sometimes you'll find great stuff that's worth a hundred bucks on a dollar a day I mean it's absolutely possible now they're not tons of those hundred dollar items but you're definitely getting your money's worth um, out of what you get most of the time, you guys. This is one of those items. I believe it either came from um, the Gimme Five Dollar Day bins, or it could have come on an Amazon liquidation pallet that I purchased and um, went through. Um, but it's some sort, some sort of um, like root oil. Oil. I, I have no idea about this stuff, you guys kind of like an essential oil, but I don't think it's not an essential oil, but that kind of gives you an idea of kind of what this could be something like. Um, I have no idea what this really is for. Um, some sort of health thing or smell good. I have no idea what the purpose of this stuff is. If you know what this is or what this is for, drop it in the comments down below. I would love to know you guys. So yeah, but I have no idea and I'm not really going to read all the back of that. So but anyway, I did look it up on eBay when I was going through it at the time, and uh, it was selling uh, for a decent bit of money. So I probably have like a dollar or less in that. Dollar at the most, maybe less. Um, but yeah, you guys, it sold for $22, uh, and I think that's free shipping. So yes, 22 bucks free shipping, so we'll pay for the shipping for this item. Um, it'll go first class, you guys, for three something probably maybe four bucks uh something like that but yeah um we've got a dollar or less in the item it sold for 22 bucks free shipping so not a bad sale not a bad flip in my book by any means the next item um let's see what this is it's battery terminal protectors so battery terminal protectors it's like felt pads kind of it goes around your um battery um terminal so yep this is kind of what it is i mean it's just a there's not really much to look at here you guys but yeah that is what it is and this sold for da -da -da -da, it sold for 10 bucks but the buyer did pay the shipping on it not a huge amount um i think i've got less than a dollar in this i don't know exactly how much but i'm i'm positive it's less than a dollar and um so yeah we sold it for 10 bucks um the buyer paid the shipping so it's probably going to be for something to ship that out. Um, but yeah, they paid, it looks like, you know, five or so in shipping. So that would definitely cover that uh, shipping cost. The next thing we've got is some sort of um, uh, fluorescent bulb. It's a special fluorescent bulb. Probably goes to certain kind of light picture or... Um, something I'm not really sure but yeah we sold this fluorescent bulb right here you guys um, you can see it there I think the T522W is probably um, I guess that's no there's another model number down here not really sure you guys anyway looked it up on eBay at the time this came through another liquidations um, whether it was a pallet or whether it was a gimme five kind of liquidation bin deal um, that I got through, dug through, and got it out. Um, I'm not really sure. But again, on, on all, a lot of these small items, they have like a dollar a piece in them when they come from the Gimme 5 bins. Um, when I go through and get them out of my liquidation pallets, these small items I have like cents in. It's less than a dollar. So um, there's definitely money being made, you guys. <clears throat> okay, now we've got, this is a pretty cool piece. It is an open package, so we sold it as um, opened, open box, or, you know, it's light new, but open package, open box. But it is a um, indoor lighting digital timer, so it's a, you know, it's a digital timer for your, your lights, basically, you guys. 
but that is it right there. You can see where the, uh, the top, rather, has been cut. So, yeah, it's been open. But um, pretty well all there, like new. Um, I'm sure somebody just kind of, out of curiosity, wanted to look at it some more. But anyway, um, we sold that, you guys, for $13.95. $13.95, the buyer did pay the shipping on that as well. Um, so, yeah, that may be over a pound, you guys. It might have to go a little bit of a different shipping option on that, but um, not for sure how we're going to ship that. The light bulb, by the way, um, I'm probably going to put this in a, um, well, let's see. I don't know how we're going to ship this just yet. It, it, it's definitely light. It, it'll go at first, first class, um, but we definitely want to put um, a, a bunch of bubble wrap around this, so we'll have to see if it'll fit in what kind of package. But we'll probably put it in a bubble mailer. Um, we'll just make sure we put a lot of extra bubble wrap around that um, because it is a delicate item. So we want to make sure we protect it the best that we can. And uh, let's see, we've also got... This here, um, it's a uh, DVD, the 2016 Word World Series on DVD. Dun, 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 right there, you guys. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Is that your team or not, you guys out there? Anyway, that's what sold. It sold. Uh, it didn't bring much, but I have like... This is probably one of those DVDs that came on a liquidation palette. I bought a palette... Um, of just DVD, CDs, and video games from Liquidations, and I have literally cents, uh, just cents in this stuff. Um, I put a lot of them out here at the warehouse um, for the local customer base retail, um, just through the warehouse sales on the weekend. Um, but uh, this I did throw up on eBay. Normally I wouldn't throw something up this cheap. I, I kind of have more of a $10 minimum, um, but I, I, I sold it threw it up for five dollars they pay the shipping for the 280 80 media mail so yeah it didn't quite bring 10 bucks but five dollars i guess for something that i have probably literally just cents in is it's still you're still making great money at that it's just it's a not a it doesn't add up it's not a huge sale but anyway you guys uh let's see make sure i didn't skip anything that looks to be about it, you guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much it at this point, you guys. Um, that is the 10 sales that sold on eBay that we are shipping out today. Hope you guys got some value out of that. Hope you guys enjoyed just seeing what's selling for me. Um, kind of, you know, whether we done free shipping or the buyer paid the shipping. But, yeah, it was a total of total of $227.64 right there, you guys. $227.64 in sales for those 10 items. A lot of small stuff, but it adds up. Um, definitely making good money on it because, again, a lot of this stuff, pretty well everything other than the KitchenAid blender, I had a dollar um, or less in. The KitchenAid blender um, right here, I believe I've got four to five dollars in that so a little bit more on that item but yeah that is all for this one you guys hope you guys enjoyed it leave some comments down below show some support show some love i greatly appreciate it and i will catch you guys in the next video um yeah peace out you guys have a good one keep the hustle up keep the reselling going and um yeah that's all for this one